achievement motivation and inventory is, is, you need high levels of achievement motivation to operate in low structure, high autonomy environments. And that's what lawyers do, low structure, high autonomy. And there's three umbrella categories, and this is a big five test, uh, self-assurance, ambition, and self-control. And so in that umbrella category, you can see students have high levels of ambition compared to senior lawyers. Not so much confidence, not so much self-control. That's a frustrating place to be. You're ambitious, but you're not very confident and you lack self-control. And for those of you that wonder what self-control is, you should read a book by, uh, uh, on the research of uh, a Baumeister called Willpowers. Self-control predicts so many good outcomes in life, and our students aren't developmentally there yet. Some will acquire it over time. It's in our interest to, to accelerate that development. So uh, in the subcategories, it's important to highlight that practicing lawyers do less have less of levels of competitiveness. And this, is, this goes to issues of sociability. When you're competitive, you pay a price in terms of relationships. Uh, our students score very low on fearlessness, which means that they're not willing to basically expose themselves to failure. This goes to the heart of what the growth mindset is all about. They're afraid of being embarrassed in front of their peers. If you don't learn and you don't experience what it's like to be a novice, it's very difficult to become a practice master. And so the students, we have to create an environment where it's safe to fail. And I try and create that in our legal professions class. Uh, but I, I, to communicate with empathy, uh, I know what it's like to fail. I know what it's like to not be good at something. But that's part of getting good, is you have to experience that. And then these self-control dimensions of persistence and self-control are key. And, uh